Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to gravitation and uh, we will extend it uh, on acceleration due to gravity. So previously we have discussed about the gravitational force of earth and also the acceleration due to gravity okay at different points. So in this video we are going to discuss about the variations in acceleration due to gravity uh, as we move from one point to another on the on or near the surface of the earth. So just a quick uh, recap of what we have discussed. We discussed the gravitational force of earth under three cases okay at points above the surface of the earth at points on or near the surface of the earth and at points below the surface of the earth. So here the main uh, point is case 2 where we are considering only okay we are considering this second case at points near or on the surface of the earth. So, under that case 2, we have objects which are close or near the surface of the earth and their separation distance is almost equal to the radius of the earth. So, the gravitational force exerted by earth on that object, it is given by this, the universal gravitational law, where it is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. G capital M small m by r square. And the acceleration due to gravity by combining it with Newton's second law of motion where as per Newton's second law this force is equal to the mass of that object small m multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity small g. So, we have the expression of small g or acceleration due to gravity given by gm by r square. Okay, and that value is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. But here, there are some important char characteristics of acceleration due to gravity, which we have covered. But the important ones from this video's point of view is this. This point and this point, where... The acceleration due to gravity is not constant from throughout the earth, okay? It is constant at a given place, at a given point. But as we move away from that place, away from that point, it varies, okay? Acceleration due to gravity, it varies from place to place. And it depends upon the altitude, that means height, depth, shape and rotation of the earth or latitude. So, here the variations in acceleration due to gravity, small g, it is dependent upon certain factors and there are four factors. One is altitude or height above the surface of the earth, then depth that is how much it is below the surface of the earth that object is, then shape of earth because we know earth is not a perfect sphere it is flattened okay it is flattened from pole to the equator it is flattened so it is not a perfect sphere so that affects also because the radius of the earth it varies as we move from the equator to the poles and then the rotation of the earth the latitude so we'll be discussing all of this one by one in this video we are going to discuss the variation in acceleration due to gravity with height or altitude above the surface of the earth. Okay, so let us say we have the uh, an object, let's say any object, here we are considering a satellite, let's say it has a mass small m and it is at a height small h above the surface of the earth, okay, at any given point. Okay, so the radius of the earth is capital R, it has a mass capital M. 
here small g is the gravitational force the acceleration due to gravity because of the gravitational force at the surface okay at the surface g and that is given by gm by r square okay the acceleration due to gravity on the surface at point a but as we move away from the surface and the height or the altitude increases the acceleration due to gravity also varies and let's say at point b where this object is located the acceleration due to gravity we denote it as g subscript small h okay so we have to find out an expression for this acceleration due to gravity at this height at point p gh so we'll try to derive it so when this object is at point b the satellite is at point p the gravitational force which is exerted on this object which will be obviously towards the center of the earth o as per shell theorem because earth is considered to be a uniform the uniform mass distributed homogeneous sphere and it is visualized as if the entire mass is concentrated at the center so it will the gravitational force will be acting towards the center it is a central force and that gravitational force acting on this satellite at point b it will be given by g capital g universal gravitational constant capital m small m product of the two masses divided by capital r plus small h whole square because now the separation distance is this okay r plus h that is the separation distance between the satellite and earth's center okay that is the separation distance so this is as per universal gravitational law so at this point b at a certain height h above the surface of the earth the gravitational force is this again we will be applying newton's second law so at this point as per newton's second law this force this gravitational force is also equal to f is also equal to m the mass of the satellite and here the acceleration due to gravity is gh g subscript small h okay so gh is equal to f by small m okay so it is equal to capital g m by r plus h whole square okay this this is gmm by r plus h whole square and when we divide it by small m mm gets cancelled small m small m gets cancelled and we have gh is equal to g by gm by r plus h whole square okay this gh is equal to g m small m by r plus h whole square by m so here mm gets cancelled okay and we have only this capital g capital m by r plus h whole square this is the acceleration due to gravity at this height h so now we have the expression of gh g capital m by r plus h whole square and we have also the expression of g which is at the surface of the earth okay at the surface this is at height h this is at the surface of the earth close to the surface of the earth so what we'll do we will divide gh by g okay gh by g so we'll get this gm by r plus h whole square divided by gm by r square okay so this is gm by r plus h whole square that is gh divided by gm by r square so it becomes multiplication r square by gm like this so here g capital g capital m and capital g capital m this gets cancelled 
so we have gh by g is equal to capital R square by capital R plus small h whole square this so we have to get an expression of gh in terms of g okay that's what is our objective here is we want to get an expression of acceleration due to gravity at a certain height h in terms of the acceleration due to gravity near the surface so we have gh by g is equal to this so we'll try to simplify it a bit more so what we'll do this r plus h whole square here will divide r okay inside the bracket as it is squared so we have to multiply r square here to neutralize both in numerator and denominator we are here we have in the denominator we have used our r square introduced r square that's why here also we will multiply r square so here we have r plus h by r whole square so we'll have 1 plus h by r whole square this r plus h by r our whole square it becomes 1 plus h by r whole square so here r square r square gets cancelled so we will have gh by g is equal to 1 by 1 plus h by r whole square okay this or we can write it as gh by g is equal to 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2 now here we will apply binomial theorem here one condition for the application of binomial theorem is that the height above the surface of the earth it should be much lesser as compared to the radius of the earth so here in the diagram just to you know to make you visually see this the height above the surface of the earth is almost comparable to capital R but in reality this height above the surface of the earth it is much lesser as compared to radius of the earth okay this the height above the surface of the earth it should be much lesser as compared to the radius of the earth only under such situations this formula is applicable okay so don't get misled by this diagram where the height is almost equal to this is just to for depiction purpose so that you get the idea but in reality this height is much lesser as compared to the radius of the earth okay so in that case when the height h small h is much lesser than the radius of the earth using binomial theorem this becomes gh by g 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2 it becomes gh by g is equal to 1 minus 2h by r or gh is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by r this is the value of acceleration due to gravity at height h so this is the formula which we wanted the expression which we wanted for gh in terms of g here gh is the acceleration due to gravity at height h above the surface of the earth with the condition that the height is much lesser as compared to the radius of the earth okay and g small g is the acceleration due to gravity near the surface of the earth 9.8 meter per second square capital r is the radius of the earth and small h is the height above the surface of the earth this so this is the formula which you can use okay this is the expression of acceleration due to gravity at a certain height so this is the first factor which we have discussed okay the variation in acceleration due to gravity with altitude or height and this is the formula to get the value of acceleration due to gravity at any height h above the surface of the earth okay and with this condition okay so this is the thing